Good morning. Before I continue, I'd just like to say, watch until the end of the video and you'll see we've got an announcement to make. But, excited, we are coming to Robin Island. Yes! Uh, we've been looking forward to this for a long time. But unfortunately, uh, the bad side of it is we're not allowed to film on the island. But we're allowed to take photos, so we're going to share that with you. We will start at the museum this morning yes. at 7 o'clock. Yeah. They open at 7.30. Yeah. We must be at the ferry at 8.15 for yes. departure at 9. 9. Yeah. We also want to come for ourselves. We've never been to Robben Island. So we, we are excited to go and see what Robben Island really looks like. In 1997, we took a boat trip to yeah. the island yes. in very rough seas might I tell you <laughs> yes. but the island wasn't open to the public then oh, so yeah. uh, we've never been on the actual island no we haven't so super cool and exciting very exciting look how pretty this is I must say the Waterfront is exceptionally quiet. I love it like this. <laughs> That's the museum. A place of struggle and triumph. This building, known as Jetty One, was controlled by the prison services since 1962. Its main function was to transport political prisoners to and from Robben Island during apartheid. When political prisoners were released in 1990, this was their gateway to freedom. The gentleman says they open? Yeah, he said we can come in now. He's open already. I just hope they've turned the lights on because it's pretty dark inside. All there. right, let's go check it out. Unless it's load shedding. Yeah. National Monument, did you see? I see that. prices to go visit Robben Island, 400 Rand for South Africans and then 210 for children, 600 for non-South Africans and 310 for non-South African children. And 75 Rand if you want to reschedule and uh, we had to bring our IDs. Yes. I will report back later if we were asked for our IDs. Okay, cool. So this is the island, I see it's even got a landing strip. Quite big, eh? Yeah. Also known as Prison Island, I see. Okay, number one. Well, we found the legend against the wall. There it is, yeah. Number one is Murray's Bay Harbour. Two is the visitor centre. Three, oh, maximum security prison. Four, the Kramat. Five, field of banishment. Six, penguin protected colony. Huh. Where is six? Oh, there. <laughs> Seven, the Outrunk. Teeny. Eight, Cornelia Battery. Nine, limestone quarry oh boy we've heard about that yes before. 10 the old rifle range and 11 bath of bethesda bethesda 12 is the landing strip you saw earlier yeah. 13 is the agricultural precinct so they must have grown their own crops yes. vegetables and stuff 14, another limestone quarry. 15, Deval battery. 16 is a lighthouse. 
lighthouse. Oh, I can see the little Look lighthouse. The tiny lighthouse. <laughs> 17 is Van Rubiak's Quarry. 18 is Alpha One. 19, Guest House. 20, Fora Jetty. 21 was the school. Oh, okay, that's probably for all the Is staff. the school. Might still yeah. be the school. 22, Garrison Church. 23, General Infirmary. 24 were the Warden Houses. 25, Medium B Security Prison. 26, Church of the Good Shepherd. 27, Sobukwe House Complex. 28, oh, Leper Graveyard. Oh. 29, Leper Pond. 30, Kratoa's Garden. So we hope to learn more about all of these things during our tour. Yeah. And this is the prison, I think, babe. Oh, yes. Oh, look at this as well, don't they? Is this the Kramat? Looks like it. Oh. Even a rugby field. Nice models they've made, hey? Yeah, beautiful. Prison Island. The Dutch period, Robben Island was established as a place of punishment by the Dutch. The first dropped off convicts and mutineers and later they also sent Khoisan people who were resisting Dutch occupation. Whoa. The English period, when the British took over from the Dutch, they created a convict station. They brought criminals from the mainland as well as mentally ill and chronically sick. Isolating the sick. The island has also been used as a place for isolating the sick. By the end of the 1800s, people suffering from leprosy with the majority of residents on the island. The surviving graves bear testimony to the lives of many who died on the island, kept there against their will. The lepers left in 1931. Oh. The apartheid jail. After the Sharpeville massacre of 1960, the apartheid government banned the ANC, the PAC and other political organizations when both organizations set up underground armed wings, the apartheid government arrested their leaders and many were sent to Robben Island. From 1962 until 1992, those considered to be the most dangerous opponents of apartheid were locked up on Robben Island. Memories of embarkations in the 1960s. With military precision, each guard armed with an automatic rifle took up a strategic post around the dock area. We were told to get off the truck and shuffled aboard the Diaz, Sedic Isaacs. We got off the truck, chained and manacled together. The contingent of warders armed with machine guns swiftly surrounded us and shepherded us into the boat. Dikrang Moseneke. A symbol of resistance, locking up people on Robben Island was designed to cut them off from the world from the country and from their communities, to eradicate their names from the memories of the people. Robben Island was a symbol of terrible oppression, but it also became a symbol of resistance. This is a quote from Dula Omar.
the cargo room. This area was the cargo room. All cargo carried by people going to and coming from the island was inspected and registered in this room. The van dropped us off here. You were in handcuffs and leg irons. It was painful, my friend, with warders shouting, Kom, kom, to Lani Mabaso. Andre Smith says, It was my job to make sure that everything that was taken into the boats was checked and registered in the book. Anything that was going to the island had to come through here. All visitors to the island had to sign the visitors register, which were kept in this room. <sighs> boat register indicating number of people on the boat on a particular day, an official requirement. Historical boats. The Isi, the Diaz, the Susan Kriya, the Arrange the Susan Kriya right here out the window. And the Blowberg. Department of Prisons. Waiting room, one, two, and three, upstairs. Cowley House, a refuge. Many political prisoners came from far away places out of Cape Town. Some as far as Namibia, many could not afford to travel. And in apartheid South Africa, blacks could not stay in the city. Visitors wanting to see their loved ones would often miss their boats due to the weather and find themselves stranded in Cape Town. In 1978, the Western Province Council of Churches opened number 126 Chapel Road, Woodstock to become a place to stay for families visiting Robben Island. Cowley House provided small grants for transport and subsistence for family members. Cowley House also provided support when prisoners were released from Robben Island. Yes, so I have I wish to apply for a permit to visit Dan David. Hoping you will reply soon, most faithfully, Miss Shirley. Yeah, and they okay.
Tessa always to advise that the undermentioned person intends to visit Roman Island on the 11th of December 1965. I will be glad if you will kindly issue the necessary permit under the following name. Waiting room. Prisoners were entitled to one visit of 30 minutes every six months. A visit would only be granted after written permission had been given by the head of prison. Family members, lawyers and other loved ones report encountering racism and hostility from warders working in GT1. You could not just decide to go to the island. You had to follow strict procedures. You had to get permission. Even today, I think of Robben Island and I curse it. They really treated us bad, yeah. Joyce Mamani. Okay, so the museum is quite small, and I understand why. Because it was mainly just a, an in and an out for prisoners leaving and coming to Robben Island, you know. So we finished here, so we're heading now to the ferry. Yes. It just rained a little bit. Yeah. And I see Table Mountain is covered in cloud. All of a sudden. And it was open this morning. Just hope they go. Let's see what they say when we get there. Yep. So this is the museum over here. And I'll just zoom in to where the ferry is right on the other side there. It's quite a walk for me. That's the ferry, but yeah. I'm going to try my best. Let's see. Uh, it's just funny how we just always miss the bridge being closed to let a boat out. It's also a museum. Oh, I see that. Yes. So I'll wait for you here while you go find out how it works. Okay, but I have to get you through there. Do you we? Have to, you have to check in through the gate there. Oh, we have to go through here. Yes. All right. We are here with Nontombi, who has given us some very bad news. Nontombi, over to you. Hi guys, it is unfortunate that today we are cancelled. So it's either you can reschedule your ticket for yes. the next available date, which will be Monday, 1 o'clock or 3 o'clock. Yes. Or you can get your full refund. Is this because of the weather? It's because of a technical issue that we have with the boat. Technical oh, no. issue. Yes. Alright, thank you Nontombi, we'll You're reschedule welcome. now. <laughs> there you can see it's cancelled the whole day. What can I say? <laughs> We have to be back on Monday, we've rescheduled, Monday at 1 o'clock and we just hope everything goes smoothly, that that one doesn't get postponed. Um, yeah, very disappointed, it was Friday today, we wanted to do it, so that I could sit and edit over the weekend, but it is what it is. We'll see you on Monday, that's where we will pick up where we're now leaving off. Yep. See you then. Good morning. So, voila. We are back. <laughs> it's Monday morning. Back at the, the ferry. There it is. To take us through to Robin Island. So I just want to show you something very interesting right here. This Imadiba installation, one of an ever-growing number, is a micro-museum built to the exact dimensions of his Robin Island prison cell. Look at this. Here it is. small eh hopefully we get to see it over there a UNESCO World Heritage Site it was declared in 1999 eh very interesting yeah. and it became a museum in 1997 okay. and it was in 1997 when we took that boat trip here we go 
Yeah. It is said that no one truly knows a nation until one has been inside its jails. Yeah. Holy Shasha Nelson Mandela. There you go. Yep. Prison bars. It's the whole reversing thing every time. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Roller coaster. Yeah, you're becoming confident now, yes. eh? <laughs> We're boarding the Krotoa. I can do that step. Yeah. But it's. No, there's a, the ramp. Oh, we're going on the, the, the sea princess. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, cool. Oh, so the sea princess thought we were going on this one. So we thought we were going on the Krotoa to Robin Island, but I suspect there's still an issue with it. So they've got the sea princess for us. So we are on our way.
What's up? It's quite up and down here, hey? Hey, sending you. My breakfast is staying in so far, but. Mine too, but I get seasick so quickly. At the drop of a hat, I get seasick. You say you quite literally go green around the gills. I can feel me changing color. Seriously, but at this stage, I'm still okay. Listen, this is such a cool experience. Wow. That view of Table Mountain, Level Speak, Signal Hill, Lion's Head, all at once. And uh, to hear, yeah, the colors are incredible. To hear uh, all the tourists talk about our beautiful country. A lot of wows, a lot of spectacular, phenomenal. All the words we use in our videos. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah. I don't know if you, how much you can hear me, but we're approaching Robin Island. Robin Island Please proceed to the buses. Please proceed to the buses. Thank you. gentlemen we passed the structure that was on the right hand side that structure is called the maximum security prison it was built in 1961 by the ex-political prisoners themselves we definitely arriving by the leper graveyards there were those ones who were suffering from the illness known as the leprosy they were coming all over from south africa placed on robin island in 1846 we are on our way to Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe's house. Clips about the video of Robin Island 
but do not take the whole history with you. Reason being, Robben Island needs to authorize you to do that as we are not sure what the information you'll be using it for later. Some people, they create their own stories, it's creating their own books. Some people, they come as a journalist. So Robben Island does not allow anyone to copy from the beginning until the end. Small clips, it's okay. Pictures, it's okay. But make sure that you don't take the whole history with you. Prisoner was only meant for one gentleman, Mr. Robert Mangaliso Sobokwe. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if they did not have the Thomas with them, the policemen were definitely allowed to make the arrest. It is the smallest prison that we have in South Africa. Time quarry. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are definitely arriving by the limestone quarry. This is where all the ex-political leaders actually used to work. They belong to Section B by the Maximum Security Prison, such as Mr. Holishasha Nelson Mandela. Anyone who is not feeling happy? It's hot. Okay, let's go straight to Alpha One. view of Cape Town from Robin Island. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just arriving by the battery gun. Robben Island, before it became an imprisonment, it was used for the World War II, which there were army that were based on Robben Island. <laughs>
once again, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome each and everyone to the village of Robin Island during the time of their imprisonment. This is where the guards used to occupy these houses. They used to stay with their own families. Today, the structures are being occupied by the staff of Robin Island. Only 180 people are living here. On the 14th of February, we do allow couples to come and get married. To make that booking, you can definitely use our website. There's our God, and he was uh, also a prisoner here. This was the guard cell. We are going to the cell block where Nelson Mandela was held now. Yeah. Quite a big tour group this of ours. Sure. You have caught up pretty well. Yep. So did I hear correctly that he was held with Walter Sisulu, Ahmed Katrada? Yeah. I didn't catch all the names.
Nelson Mandela's cell. We are on our way out. I think so too. Yes. Let's just get to level terrain and then you can push me to the boat. We are now motoring to the boat. It appears to be level. Seems like it. Let's see if we can run. <laughs> You're gonna get tired. Bluestone quarry, we never got to see that. Yeah, we've got so much that you missed, eh? Yes, oh, absolutely. Look at this gun. Yeah. They've got big guns on the island, that yep, I must say. Do. Try and find a spot downstairs. Yes. If you're okay with that? I'm fine with that. Goodbye, Robin Island. So it doesn't lift, it turns. So, yep. we're back on dry land. <laughs> We've got our mics back again, yes. so hopefully the sound will be better. Yeah. We're here at Ferryman's Irish Tavern yeah. on the waterfront, waiting for our drinks. Yes. So maybe give me a few thoughts of the Robin Island experience. 
I was excited to come and see it. Yes. After the whole, deba whole debacle on Friday that it was postponed. Yes. And we had to wait until today. And I see they're using the Sea Princess instead of their own. So there seems to be an issue. I spoke to one of the crew members and they said there is. Oh. They're going to be doing the, the whole cruise the whole week of this because there's a, it seems like there's a major issue with it. With their own ferry. Yes. The Kratoa. And um, I, um, I was excited. I am a little disappointed, I must say. Um, it seemed rushed. We didn't get to see everything I thought we'd get to see. Uh, I would have liked to have spent... I'm not, I'm not the type of guy that likes to go with tour guides. I'm seriously not the type of guy that likes to go with tour guides. So I prefer doing my own thing, walking around, exploring by myself. In your own time? In my own time. And that's, that, it just seems as if we were rushed. We had to move from here and then it was off the bus, on the bus, this way, that way. I, 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 I didn't like it. I agree with you. Um, I think our boat was delayed, firstly. Yes. Secondly, we had a Polish tour group on the bus. Yes. And I don't know how their seating arrangements work, but the interpreter ended up right next to me. Yes. So whenever our tour guide spoke in English, she rattled off in Polish or at simultaneously, yes. like a sentence behind basically. And that was very disturbing to me. So then they changed the arrangement and then our tour guide spoke in front and then the Polish tour guide was given an opportunity, which at the end of the day, I think we were up to 45 minutes behind schedule. Yes and that cut our time at the prison very much short. Yes, so we couldn't see a lot of the things we wanted to see. The inside of cells. But I must be honest with you, it was interesting to see the place in any case. I, I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed walking through the place to see what those poor guys went through. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, it was a good experience. But I would like it if they could make it that a person did it on your own time. Let us loose for an hour. Yes, give us an around. hour just to walk around yeah. and explore. Yeah. The most impactful for me of everything was the grape tree, which we know is a vine. Vine, yes. Where Nelson Mandela had his vegetable garden yes. and hid the manuscript of the long walk to freedom. There, yeah. For me, that was quite poignant. Yes. So, um, yeah, I, I will remember that for a long time. Yeah, it was very interesting. Our very nice and fresh guineas on tap. Ooh. Wow. Your very first nice. one? Yes. And first. he's never had a guineas. He's never, never, had, a guineas. never had a guineas. Yeah, <laughs> the right place to have a nice and fresh guineas. Yes, very yes. Nice. And a nice and crisp margarita. I was very happy with this weather. I can't wait. Enjoy, my darling. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, it's amazing. I didn't know they could do that. I've never tasted this. Do it. It looks it looks a lot like castle milk stout. It does look and, very dark. And I don't enjoy castle milk stout. So let me try this. Mm. It's not milk stout. Okay. Very bitter. Well, but it's, you, it's okay. You okay. ordered this because you just wanted to try it. But I have to finish it. Maybe by the end of it, it will be stunning. <laughs> so this is the Ferryman Irish Tavern's menu. Quite an interesting one. But we are going to taste Ireland. Taste of Ireland. Yeah. And we've decided we're going to have a Dublin Coddle and Bangers and Mash. This is our meal. Uh, we thought it was a light meal, but it doesn't seem to be that light. No. This is the Dublin Coddle. I see carrots. And sausage and potatoes. Yes. And this is the bangers and mash. And there's more Guinness in that sauce. I grew up with bangers and mash. So I love bangers and mash. So I'm looking forward to it. First spoon of the coddle. Yes. She says she hopes you enjoy it. It's a little different, but we wanted to taste some Irish dishes. It is different, but it tastes good. I enjoy this. There's a lot of Guinness in my sauce, eh? Is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you have a bite of it? <laughs> yes. Flavor good? Very good. Stunning. Right, enjoy. So let me tell you. Yeah. The caudal with some cracked black pepper is divine. Nice, eh? But now you finished all the potatoes and the carrots. <laughs> so I put some of the mash into the remnants of the caudal. And Mr. is now having the bangers and mash with a Guinness sauce. Honest, remember honest opinion, eh? Honest opinion, yes. We love bangers, we love mash. The jury is out on the Guinness. Mm. Good? Mm. I love it. Enjoying it more than the coddle? Much more. Perfect. You should have given me the rest of the coddle earlier. Mm. No, this is stunning. Okay, I enjoy. I love the sauce. I'm very excited about the coddle. <laughs> Question time. Mm -hmm. Why is the second beer not a Guinness? <laughs> um, but a castle light? Guinness is an acquired taste, I presume. It's something you have to learn to drink. And uh, enjoy. And enjoy. I haven't had time to learn to drink it yet. <laughs> but I will definitely have one in the future, but not the very near future. <laughs> That is Mr. Diplomacy and tact for you. The <laughs> Okay. We said at the beginning of the episode that we have an announcement. Yeah. So here goes. Um, we thought this would be the last episode of our local series. But there was one more experience we wanted to do and have we struggled to get a booking on the, a day that worked for us yeah but we eventually managed and that episode will be published on wednesday the 28th of yes. february yeah. but our work commitments this year has increased a lot so our work finances our trips for our youtube channel and uh We've explored most of the places in the area close to where we live, so our trips are getting further and further away from home. And our next trip is going to be thousands of kilometers. We're in the process of planning that. And um, yeah, we are going to only publish after the 28th of February our next video on the 22nd of March. So um, there's still a lot of videos for you to explore on our channel, and uh, we hope you enjoy them. We also just finished Robin Island. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video as well. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and we'll see you in the next episode.